Would you rather fight one horse-sized duck or 20 duck-sized horses and explain why? <laughs> I've seen questions like this all over the internet over the years. One horse-sized duck or 20 duck-sized duck horses? horses? Yes. Mm. <laughs> Do you want to you go on first? I'm thinking. thinking. I'm trying to think of okay. the logistics. I think I think for all of these it I think it usually ends up being <laughs> 20 the the small ones cuz I can just kick <laughs> the shit out of them. That's okay. You're with me. Uh, maybe I should just choose the opposite just to see if I can like argue something there, but I'm thinking go ahead, explain the 20. Why, I just think like, so I don't know the full physical capabilities of a duck, but I feel like a horse-sized duck could be pretty dangerous. Like, it could, like, flap its wing out at you or, like, peck, yeah. the sh like, peck you in your face. Like, I don't I know. I feel like me and you have played too many video games, and we just have an imagination that... And, and yeah, we just have an imagination that's way too uh, uh, livid, and it's, I can't. I, I can't deal yeah. with the idea a giant fucking duck because in my head i'm just thinking of this massively big ass bird and it yeah. just kind of creeped me out the more i think about it the more i'd rather not deal with that at all like i don't want to be anywhere near and a big bird in terms of horses the size of ducks like you know horses are all muscle so they can still be that's still dangerous but i feel like you can just like punt them you can just punt a couple of them and yeah. like kick them around ducks aren't that big they're not much bigger than just like a house cat or whatever you know granted they're yeah, standing yeah. up on two legs whereas cats are usually usually on four but some cats do stand, my cat used to stand all the time but uh i think you can just punt them like you said like the 20 buck sized horses and maybe you get exhausted and just like run away from them or something you probably can't really run away from their horses but here's the thing right and here's the other thing if we're being realistic for being realistic they're animals they're these aren't like anime animals they're right, normal they're, animals. They're just animals. So if I kick, like, half of these horses, the other half are running from me. I don't think they're fighting. I, I hope so. I think they're I running scared. That. Yeah, if he would have specified, like, these are some angry fucking horses that have been modified to attack you, like, act, they're trying to hurt me, as opposed to them just being 20 duck-sized horses that happen... They're just horses that happen to be really tiny. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, depending on how the logistics of that work, obviously depending on how we would approach the situation but I, I for me i also agree that the the smaller animal monster whatever and a, a huge quantity of them like when i say would you fight a bunch of like fifth graders or some shit and where you get like an eighth grader every 12 you beat you know hey, I'm like yeah, so sure. that's the, so that's that's one of the ones i was thinking of is like 20 fifth graders or whatever yeah. and i've seen people argue this and this is because this one that one is so easy to figure out. Horse-sized ducks, like, you got to use your imagination. Yeah, but it's just completely imaginative. I have fought, you know, at, at cookouts and family gatherings, I have fought 20 10-year-olds. Like, I've done it. It's <laughs> not hard. Like, it is so easy to just yeah. throw them and, like, pick yeah. one up and use it as a shield. Like, it, Yeah, they're nothing. It's You could throw so many 10 year olds like i'm beating the balls off all like it's not you even have a close. 10 year old little brother right now and you yeah. can just like ragdoll him at any point at any point like it's yeah. it'll never be a I competition have the same experience i have like little cousins and you know i don't have any nieces or nephews yet but i do have a lot of little cousins and when i was growing up even when i was in like let's say high school and my cousins were still in just like elementary or whatever um i had so much more strength than them so yeah. as a full, like now i'm a full-grown man who Goes to the gym, by the way. Yeah. And just, like, I could absolutely... I was weaker when I was younger because I didn't work out at all. Like, now I'm actually pretty strong. And so it, it would just be no yeah. contest. Like it would I think... Like, I was probably at my... Sh I, I need to start running again. I gotta... I, you might you might get... I've been wanting to get working out again, and I've just been being lazy. I gotta start doing it again. But... There was a I, period in this podcast history where you were running or doing... Yeah, that. yeah. I was working out... I, I was working out consistently. I was doing push-ups, sit-ups, pull-ups, and running, mm -hmm. uh, I think, three days a week. But I did that for, like, two or three months, and then I just stopped. Um, <laughs> but I was probably at my strongest between the ages of, like, 16 and, like, 24. And yes, that, at that sounds about right. At that time frame, I you could have threw 50 fifth graders at me, and it would not have mattered. Yeah, <laughs> like, it wouldn't have mattered one bit.
So let me think about this. The horse-sized duck, like one horse-sized duck. The idea of it is terrifying because um, I can't, I personally cannot mount a horse mm. from a standing position like as I am right now. I don't know how to properly do it, but yeah, I would yeah. be very afraid. So I'm just thinking about a horse is on four legs, right? And I, I feel like a horse are, too. Too little, yes. too little waddles. So, I'm already thinking about the fact that a horse is on four legs and horses are already bigger than me by a good amount. Like I'm short. Like I'm not, I am five, seven, I think like something around that. Yeah. I'm not a tall guy. Um, so most horses are already just my height or higher as far as just like their natural standing position. Actually, most of them are higher. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh yeah. It just, the idea of a duck that may actually be big because like, I just imagine a duck standing on his two legs just being like a, a little bit duck taller. That is bigger than you, like straight up. You know what I mean? Yes, like a fucking duck that's bigger than me. I don't know what I would even do to it. So like, that's what, like what, that's the problem. How do I beat it. I don't. There. I don't know what our what your wind condition is. A yeah, horse like, sized duck. Wind? What is my wind condition like? How do I actually beat it? Whereas, a uh, twenty duck sized horses. Now, now granted. Horses are all like they're all muscle, and so even a bunch of small ass horses would be kind of tough. There's a there's a plan of attack. It's fucking kick the shit out of them. I don't know what the plan of attack is for a giant duck. Like I don't really I know no what you idea. do. I have yeah, I have no idea what I would do. I would honestly be fucking petrify it and i think i would just keep trying to back attack it but i don't think that works like that in real life <laughs> yeah i don't think Box yeah, I, yeah like, I keep imagining myself like an rpg where i'm like running around to its backside and it's not quite turning around fast enough because it's fucking stupid yeah you're trying to monster people, hunter like, this fucker yeah and i keep kicking it in the back and like running away and then trying to repeat that and hopefully its HP just goes to zero. But like, if that doesn't work, if the duck just keeps up with me, like, what are you doing, you fucking idiot? Like, yeah. this is not a video game. I'm just turning with you because I'm a, I'm a, I'm not gonna say a regular person, but like, I'm a regular person. Like, what the fuck? Also, like, I'm, like I'm done. Ducks fly. Just yes, as they a, actually just, do. Ducks just as a side fly. note. Okay, yeah. So this is not winnable. <laughs> this is not winnable. So answer your question. The answer is twenty duck-sized horses because. I have no chance. Neither one of us has a chance against a fucking horse-sized duck. They fly. The, <laughs> it, the second it, it takes air at any point, like it takes flight at any point, I'm running. So like if it, it tries to, dude, really if it tries to like dive bomb you or some shit, I don't know, man. Like yeah, at any point, if the duck decides to take flight, or like even if they, you know how ducks, because you've probably seen this too, they just start like jumping and flapping. They don't even yeah, yeah. They just jump and flap. They yeah. Like kick. Um, that's too much. Because like, if it knocks you over, like, you're getting trampled. Oh, yeah, you're dead. You're fucking dead. This duck is just gonna fucking have its way with you. No. It's the fucked up. Is no. It's fucked up. You the know what? No. Before we move on to the next question, since we're talking about weird verses, yeah. I'll bring up one. A friend of mine hit me up recently. He just he just watched The Boys Season 3. And so he hit me up, and he asked... Yeah, the kid just finished that, too. He said, who do I think would win? A uh, Homelander... Or All Might from My Hero Academia, and so I want to—I have my opinion on it, but I'll, I want to throw the question to you and see what you think. Okay, so first, this is an anime being compared to a show because I assume he's talking about the show, not the comics for the boys. Yeah, he's talking about the show. Okay, because I have no—I I don't know anything about the comics as far as like how powerful Homelander is in the comics and stuff like that. I'm only going to go by the actual Amazon show, the adaptation. So only yep. feats that I've seen from Homelander. In the show, the boys up to season three, and that's it. Um, it's gonna be all might, and it's not close for me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like it's gonna. It, so the answer is gonna. The, the answer is gonna be all might, and it's honestly not gonna be very close. Now, there are things that home uh, in Homelander's defense, there are things that he has said in the boys. That have scared me and made me wonder how powerful he truly is. Yeah, but then yeah. there's also contradictory things that have happened that made me think, uh, you might not be as powerful as I originally thought. So let's start with what scares me about him that he has said in like recent seasons. I think it's season three, when he first starts realizing that he has a base and he's basically Donald Trump and he can say what he wants and people actually like that. Um, he became really scary. One of my favorite things that he said in that season, in the later season, was uh, you know, do it. Like release the tape <laughs> and <laughs> I might just get fucking mad. And once I'm mad and I have nothing to lose, I might just knock New York off the fucking map. 
Like, he just said, I might take New York off the map. And so when he said that, I was like, yo, that is a crazy thing <laughs> to just throw out as a threat to somebody. And I don't want to call his bluff because, like, yeah, he could kill. He could kill every human being in New York. No question. Like, that's not oh, for sure. But when he says, like, knock New York off the map, it made me just think that he could somehow do something to the actual landmass. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. That's the part that started to freak me out. If he's that powerful, where he could affect the actual geography, not just like what's on top of it, but the actual land. And then, you know, New York's an island and everything. But still, like the idea that he said he could take New York out of existence essentially <laughs> is what his threat was. That has freaked me out. However, there are things like the event that he was starting with in that same scene, the plane part where him and, uh, was Maeve, they were on a plane, and basically the plane was going down, a lot of people were about to die, and they had an opportunity to try to save them. And Homelander made like a really shitty attempt, but he quickly came to the conclusion that like, I can't stop this from happening. Yeah, yeah. And Maeve offered all these solutions, like, well, maybe we could do this, maybe we could do that. And he was like, what the fuck? Like, no, I can't, like, we can't do that. And that limitation that they put on, this is like early seasons, right? Like that's Yeah, that's season one. one. That's season one. Oh, Okay, yeah. so that limitation when he started talking about how they couldn't just carry the plane the rest of the way to its destination or like have them have all the people get a safe landing or something that made me think that he's not physically as strong as someone like Superman who could zero difficulty fly a human plane like a plane carrying yeah, humans. Yeah. So Superman could like it, w it wouldn't even take anything for him to do that. And I always compare Homelander to Superman because that's clearly who he's modeled after. But he's not as powerful, at least in the show. Yeah, yeah. Not Once as, again, we don't know anything about the comics. Yes, he's not as powerful in the show as Superman by any means. Um, I think that's very clear. So they, he says crazy things like, I'll knock New York off, off the map. But then he also can't really grab a plane and just like easily land it. Because in that scene... I don't even think he was necessarily trying to be malicious. I don't think he wanted a plane full of people to die if he could do something about it. It's yeah. just that, if I remember correctly, like he was like, yeah, we can't really do anything. Like We have to just leave. That's how There's I remember it as do. well. Yeah, I remember him being, like, I'm going to just use the word, powerless to, to stop it. And so that tells me that he's not as physically strong as uh, All Might, for one, who could do that feat. Like, All Might could just... <laughs> that's just an easy feat for All Might. All Might... It's just not. First of all, it's an anime character, and I, <laughs> that's already. Whenever you compare anime to things that are not anime, it's really hard on a non-anime thing, unless yeah. it's cracked. And I don't know many cracked real life things. Yeah, he he asked me because he was basically his. At first, he was you know arguing for Homelander, and he was saying how strong Homelander is and all the different powers and abilities he has. And then I kind of was like, I took that into consideration. But then you got to figure, All For One has a lot of powers, too. And All Might fought him, number one. Yes. Like, All For One yes, has a shit did. ton of... So, like, he having more lot. powers... Yeah, having more powers is nice, but, like, the the amount... I think the amount stronger and the amount faster All Might is compared to Homelander it's is, really, like, yeah. it's just way too much. And then here's, like, this... The, what Probably the most important thing, and that's their, their psyche. Um... Or most important, other than the fact that I really do think All Might would just like beat the balls off of them. But let's just say they're equal in strength and speed. Homelander has a very shaky psyche, and once he starts beating on All Might, and he realizes All Might's not backing down or backing off, and he keeps coming at him, that's yeah. when it starts. Like we've we watched him run away. You know what I mean? Like we've yeah. watched him like yeah. Now he uh, he started getting bad for him, and he literally flew away. Um, he doesn't like the heat. He also loves. He doesn't like being injured in any way. He's not used to being injured, and I think that that part, that last part about him not being used to being injured, is definitely going to play a part in it because All Might will injure him. Yes, and I don't think Homelander does well with that type of thing, judging by last season. Um, I also think that, like you said, the speed and raw power of All Might is just a lot, and I think one of the scaling things, if people wanted to, like you know, I know people love power scaling, yeah. but. When All Might and All For One were fighting, there were several parts where they would knock each other through several buildings and destroy the actual city. <laughs> and I have yet to see anything on that level in The Boys. Like where <laughs> they are punching each other through several city buildings and destroying entire city blocks.
or with when punches and fisticuffs. When he showed up, I forget the exact distance. Hey guys, if you like this clip, we have full video versions of our podcast episodes available on the I Am There Patreon, as well as exclusive content. If you'd like to listen to our full podcast episodes or find us on any other social media platforms, you can do so by clicking the link tree below.